Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to render our obelisk model we textured in our last video. So I'm going to finish this series in this video. And now we're back in Maya and we have our low poly asset here. Now we're going to assign all the textures we exported from Substance Painter onto this model. So if you're using a Substance plugin, then you'll see a Substance section on your shelf. If you don't see this one then you can download this plugin from the official website of substance painter let's go here and click on this icon click on this select multiple maps and let's go to the folder where we have our textures so we exported in source images now select all these textures and not all of them are going to be assigned automatically as you can see that our AO is not here. So we have to go back to this folder and select manually our AO and now apply. Select this model, right click and in the existing material, you'll see this uh, AI standard surface one and assign this material here. So your texture will appear on your mesh. Now let's create a background. I'm going to take a plane and uh, increase its width and height. Like this. And uh, extrude this edge and bevel this one just a little bit of more scale and make sure your mesh is uh, over this plane so everything looks fine so as you can see that we have some clipping issues so i'm going to go to my outliner and in the perspective camera select this go to attribute editor and let's increase the far clip plane to fix this and we are good so now let's create a camera so go to create camera and select this now to assign your view just go to panel and uh, click on this look through selected you have to select this option while you have selected your camera and now you are looking through the camera so just take a view which you want to render this looks fine and just enable your resolution gate go to your render settings and let's keep this resolution 1k square for now So I'm just going to go to my outliner, select my camera, look through selected. Assign a view and just fit this mesh into this square and click here to lock your camera. Now your scene is locked and uh, now we need to create some lights but before that we need to assign a material onto this plane so that we can render this background also so assign a new material to this go to Arnold and standard surface I'm going to make this a little dark turn down the specular increase the roughness a little and uh, let's add some lights so go to Arnold and uh, in the lights select this area light and uh, scale this up like this and rotate go to top view place this light here Again, select your light, go to panel and look through selected.
so just make sure your object is in the view like this so this looks fine and now we're going to take a render test so let's go to your render settings and in the system change this to gpu and uh, i'm just going to keep the settings to default for now we are just doing a test so go to arnold and click on this render so change your camera to this camera shape one select your light go to attribute editor and turn off this normalize and now you can see your object i'm going to increase the exposure a little I think three looks fine and I'm going to add some color. So this looks nice. Now I'm going to add a few more lights. So let's stop the render and uh, add some more lights so i'm going to go to arnold again light and area light again increase the scale pull this up bring it here go to top view and uh, rotate this light like this place this one here and pull this up again go to arnold and render change the view to camera and uh, again turn off the normalize for this light and increase the exposure a little i think five looks fine add some color some warm color like sun so this one also looks fine now i'm going to go to top view again create the duplicate of this light and uh, for the pivot point i'm going to place this here and then rotate like this and uh, again go to arnold render change the view to camera and for this light let's uh, change the color to blue something like this and uh, let's turn down the exposure a little three should be fine and as for the plane you can change the color of it so just go to the material and i'm going to make it a little bit more darker like this increase the roughness and this is looking fine so this was our render test now we are going to increase some samples so just save this and uh, put your render settings in the Arnold renderer increase the AA sample like this also the adaptive sampling turn it on and uh, change it to 10 now go to ray depth and just increase these values you can change and play these values so I'm going to just keep it 2 and 2 go to common and change the image size to 2k square so let's go to arnold and click on this render again change the camera view and since we changed a lot of settings it's going to take few minutes to render but that totally depends on your pc So this is going to be our final render but I'm going to add one more thing here. So while it's rendering uh, what we need to do is we need to go to windows and uh, click on this display settings 
and we're going to add a uh, denoiser so that it can remove the excess noise in our scene so i'm going to go to add imager and click on this denoiser optics and i'm going to change the blend value to 0 0.8 and then just let this render finish so this is pretty much it and uh, you can also add a few more lights to light up your background which is a little bit darker here so you can stop this render and what you can do is you can go to arnold and add a light scale this up and put it behind your asset like this and pull this up now go to your attribute editor and turn off normalize again start your render and uh, increase the exposure something like this so just let the render finish and then you'll get your final output so this series is going to be finished here and i hope you liked this series and you learned about how to create environmental asset using all these softwares so if you like these tutorials then drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel join my discord server and you can also follow me on instagram so i'll see you next time with a brand new tutorial till then thanks for watching